Hey everyone, Matthew Vandrells here, pastor of Founded in Truth, and in light of the holiday season, I wanted to share with you guys about a very significant celebration for us as Christians. No, I'm not talking about Christmas, I'm talking about Hanukkah. Wait a minute, I thought Hanukkah was a Jewish holiday. Well, it is, but it was also something that was very important to our Jewish Messiah, Jesus. He celebrated this holiday, and as we'll learn in a little later, this celebration is something that is incredibly meaningful and relevant for all Christians today. But first, what is Hanukkah? Hanukkah is a Hebrew word that means dedication. It's the name of an eight-day holiday that commemorates Israel's deliverance and the rededication of the temple during the time of the Maccabees. It's also known as the Festival of Lights, and its celebration is in late fall and early winter. To give you some brief history, in 167 BCE, the Syrian king Antiochus IV, who was one of the successors of Alexander the Great, became ruler over the entire region of Judea. During his reign, he harshly oppressed the Jewish people. For instance, he outlawed the study of Torah, banned Sabbath and festival observances, and even ordered the death of those who defied his laws. In the book of 2 Maccabees, it records the Syrian Greeks consistently desecrated the Jerusalem temple. They would enter into the temple and have drinking parties, they'd sleep with prostitutes. There's one story of Jewish women who circumcised their sons in accordance with God's commandment, and they were arrested and thrown from the top of the city wall. Also, Jews who were keeping uh, Sabbath and were caught, 2 Maccabees 6 states that they were burned alive. This was not a good time for God's people, but why was all of this happening? In short, Antiochus wanted to Hellenize the Jews, that is, turn them into good Greek citizens. Simply put, he didn't like that they were different, so he tried to get the Jewish people to basically abandon their faith in the God of Israel and fully conform to Greek culture. While many Jews did Hellenize and walk away from their faith, a remnant of faithful believers said they were not going to compromise. There were some major tensions that soon exploded into full-blown revolt in the area. Greek armies went into surrounding cities to force the Jews to eat pork and worship idols. And in the town of Modin, Mattis Yahu, the Hasmonean, killed his fellow priest who had agreed to sacrifice a pig upon a pagan altar. That was the breaking point. Mattis Yahu and his son Judah Maccabee formed a small army and revolted against Antiochus. The fighting went on for three years until the small army of faithful Jews miraculously defeated Antiochus, forced the Syrian Greeks out of Israel, and regained Jerusalem and the temple. Thus, they began the process of cleansing the temple and rededicating it to the Lord. And that's pretty much the story of Hanukkah. Every year for eight days, we remember and celebrate this miracle. You might say, well, that is certainly an incredible story, and it's amazing to hear about how God delivered the Jewish people, but how exactly is it relevant to Christians? Well, this holiday is tremendously relevant to us as Christians. On the most basic level, had God not delivered the Jewish people from their oppressors, had Antiochus had been successful in eradicating the faith of the God of Israel, there would be no Jewish Messiah. Jesus, or Yeshua, would have never been born into the people of Israel. In other words, there could have never been a Christianity without Judaism. Another reason we celebrate Hanukkah is that it was important to our Messiah. The Gospel of John records that Yeshua went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Dedication, that is, Hanukkah. John made sure to mention Yeshua's attendance at the festival for multiple reasons. It's not just a historical record, but it's meant to convey a theological message. Just as God had delivered Israel in the time of the Maccabees, Yeshua is the ultimate deliverer. Not only that, but Yeshua said He is consecrated just like the temple. Since Hanukkah celebrates the consecration of the temple, it's believed that Yeshua here is alluding to himself as the ultimate temple of God. He's the substance, the heavenly reality, that to which the shadow, the earthly temple, points. Therefore, as Christians, we celebrate Hanukkah like we celebrate all of God's feast days. We celebrate it in light of its ultimate fulfillment in Messiah. It's all about Him, and it's all about the Gospel. Another reason we celebrate Hanukkah is that its message is especially relevant for us today. It's a reminder that we're called to stand firm on God's truth in the midst of all opposition. We don't bow to idols. We don't compromise our beliefs. And as we celebrate Hanukkah, the festival of lights, we're reminded that we are called to be the light of the world. We are to reflect the light and the love and the truth of our Messiah Yeshua to all nations. So, how can we celebrate this holiday today? Where there are a number of traditions that have developed over the years that have helped us connect this miraculous event to Israel's history. Probably the most popular tradition is the lighting of the Hanukkah. 
The Hanukkiah is a special candle holder with nine branches. The middle branch of the candle stands higher than all of the rest, and it's called the shamash, or the servant's candle. The shamash candle is used to light the other candles, and on each night of Hanukkah, at sundown, a new candle is added to the Hanukkiah, and then it's lit. And this is repeated every single night to the eighth night when all nine candles on the Hanukkiah are lit. There are some traditional blessings that can be recited every night, and the Hanukkiah is then placed in the window where the lights can be seen from outside. This is a reminder of our calling to be a city on a hill and the light to all nations. Another Hanukkah tradition is to play the dreidel game. Now the dreidel game is a spinning top with four sides and on each side is a Hebrew letter, Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin. These letters are an acronym for the phrase Nes Gadol Hayasham, or in English, a great miracle happened there, in reference to Israel's deliverance in the time of the Maccabees. The game is played with candy pieces or coins and players sit in a circle with a pot of candy or coins and in the middle they spin the top and depending on the letter it lands on, you either take from or put back in into the pot. Dreidel is a fun game to play with the kids and a great opportunity to teach them about the great miracle that happened there when God delivered Israel. It's also a great opportunity to teach them about the greatest miracle, Yeshua delivering his people from sin and death and the hope that we have in his kingdom being fully made manifest on earth, a day when suffering and oppression will no longer be. Another peculiar Hanukkah tradition is to eat fried foods such as deep fried jelly donuts or latkes. Why do we do this? Well, besides the obvious, in later rabbinic tradition, it said that at the time of the rededication of the temple, there was only enough oil to light the temple menorah for one day. However, that little bit of oil miraculously lasted the entire eight days, which was enough time to prepare even more oil to keep it burning continually in accordance with the commandment. Hence, Hanukkah is celebrated for eight days. If you're a Christian, I want to invite you. I want to invite you to celebrate this incredible holiday. Invite friends over, invite family, invite everybody over to your home and let them join in in the celebration alongside you. The food and the traditions associated with this holiday are great conversation starters so you can teach others about how awesome our God is. Happy Hanukkah from all of us at Founded in Truth. And don't forget to check out our other videos on our website about the Bible and resources at www.foundedintruth.com. Dot com. We pray that the peace and the joy of the Lord would be upon you, and remember, stay fit, stay founded in truth.